Chip, the president's been under some pressure to ratchet up his language. Uh, yes, he has, Katie. Republicans have accused him of being too timid in his response to Iran. Today, he changed his tone. The United States and the international community have been appalled and outraged by the threats, the beatings, and imprisonments of the last few days. The president also took a direct swipe at Iran's repressive government. In 2009, no iron fist is strong enough to shut off the world from bearing witness to peaceful protests of justice. Yes, he said he has seen the video of NADA that has circulated worldwide. It's heartbreaking. It's, uh, it's heartbreaking. NADA Aga Sultan was shot dead on a street in Tehran and has become an inspirational symbol. While this loss is raw and extraordinarily painful, we also know this. Those who stand up for justice are always on the right side of history. The president was asked why he waited until today to condemn Iran so forcefully. What took you so long? Oh, I, don't, I don't think that's accurate. Uh, it, it, track what I've been saying. For days, Republicans, including Senators Lindsey Graham and John McCain, have criticized the president for not taking a stronger stand. The president has refused to speak out in support of these brave Iranian citizens. Were you influenced at all by John McCain and Lindsey Graham accusing you of being timid and weak? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> the president insisted he was not influenced. I think if you look at the statements that I've made, they've been very consistent. Mr. Obama also tried to kickstart his health care overhaul, which has been slowed by controversy on Capitol Hill, especially over the cost. He promised it will be paid for. It will not add to our deficits over the next decade. We will find the money through savings and efficiencies within the health care system. The president also poked fun at himself after a reporter asked about his, quote, Spock-like answer to a question. First of all, was the reference to Spock, is that a crack on my ears? Uh, all right, I just want to make sure. No? Uh, so what do the president's critics think about his condemnation of Iran? Well, today, Senator McCain issued a statement. He said he's encouraged that the president has decided to speak more strongly. Katie? Chip Reed at the White House tonight. Thank you, Chip.